Welcome to Points West, Sean and Angie. I'm glad you guys could make it to come and see us for a couple of weeks. Um, part of the customary things, actually it's only just for you, um, is presenting you with the Admiralty package. And what that consists of, ladies and gentlemen, are corn dogs. There's a long story behind that. That's for you, sir. Some popcorn. I don't know if you'll eat that, but good luck. And a refreshing chilled beverage, which, there you go, sir. Well, thank you very much. Now, 20 years ago, I went on a tiger cruise on the Abe with Gary, and we hit heavy seas. Mm. And uh, what rank were you then, Gary? I was a third class petty officer. And, and what are you now? I'm a lieutenant commander now. Yes, because Gary's career, Navy, go Navy. Yeah. And uh, anyways, I said, Gary, you know, I think I could use a corn dog. So we went down to the, to the mess, and what happened, Gary? Well, there was a... <laughs> At the time, an MS-1 who was not very pleased to see us there because I didn't have the early chow pass. Uh, at which time he told us, no, we couldn't have one. So I've been living with this doom for 20 years now. <laughs> and I just want everybody to see, on record, Sean got his corn dog. Yes. So I hope that is filling for you. Yeah, so for 20 years, I've teased Gary about his inability to get me a corn dog. And uh, thanks, Gary. You're love welcome, you, man. Buddy. I love you too. <laughs> Well, hey everybody, we're at the Savannah Rapids Park at the recommendation of my buddy Gary. He said that there's a really awesome bike path that takes you along the Savannah Locks. Right. We've just got the bikes uh, unloaded from the truck, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna go do some exploring. Got a message from one of our great subscribers, Pedro, who asked that we do some riding on our bikes with uh in real time with some narration and i'm not exactly sure that how that's going to work pedro but we're going to give it a try so pedro this video is for you so here we are at the augusta canal national heritage area. And we're going to cross the canal and ride the trail towards Augusta. Yeah. I don't know how far we'll make it. Apparently this canal was built in 1845 to harness the power of the river and it brought textile manufacturing to this region prior to and then of course after the Civil War. And some of the information indicated that it is the oldest continuously operating hydroelectric uh, system in the country. So that's pretty cool.
Hey, watch where you're going. <laughs> hey, more Spanish moss. That's cool. Don't get in the mud. Hey, you need to clean your bike. It's dirty. This is three. I think that means we've been three miles. Maybe. It's a pumping station. Said. It really looks like a gator ought to be like spying on us out of that. Hello. What color are they blooming? That's cool. I feel like we're back in Indiana dodging puddles. Uh oh, what does this mean? Oh, there's a. I was gonna say, how do we open the gate? <laughs> wow, that's cool. It's like Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. Over the bridge. Explosion at the Confederate Powder Works. In August 1864, a violent explosion destroyed the granulating building of the Augusta Powder Works, one of the 28 buildings of the Confederacy's massive gunpowder mill along Augusta Canal. Eight men and a boy died when 18,000 pounds of gunpowder exploded in one of the most lethal industrial accidents in the Civil War South. This, along with poor pay, prompted women at the facility to go on strike the following October. With many men away in the army, an increasing number of women and children were pulled into the workforce. The unsuccessful strike was one of many at wartime industrial facilities across Georgia where pay was low and working conditions often dangerous. Interesting. I do wonder what that building is. That's Maybe that was part of, uh, part of the gunpowder mill. I don't know. That's kind of cool. Confederate Powder Works Chimney. We found the Salvation Army. Right, well, let's keep, let's keep that is a cool building. But I really think Oompa Loompas need to work in there. Well, we brought lunch. We can go back to that park. Okay, let's go back to the park then. I'm beginning to think that maybe those nice people we met in Indiana were on the right track and we should invest in a couple of walkie-talkie helmets.
What do you think? Hockey talkie helmets? No, I talk to myself a lot. Then you think I'm talking to you, and then you get mad. And I'm just like, I'm just talking to myself. And the race is on. And the race is on. Woohoo! Danger, Will Robinson. No swimming. Ah. Oh. About that. <laughs> <Diving>. <laughs> okay. Having a, a baptism. They're having a baptism in the river, Ange. Yeah, you wanted to go down this way. Be careful. Don't don't fall. You're a mountain biker now. Alligator's gonna come out and get you. Where you wanna go? Down by that picnic table? Down by that little chair by the river? Down by the bank? Oh look, there's somebody on the river. How about the rock in the sun? Is that the sacrificial rock? I think that's the sacrificial rock. I think I need to sacrifice a there. Well, there and back again. We made it back here to the parking lot. I got to load up the bikes. That was a fun little ride. I uh, I must have misunderstood the lady at the visitor center. I thought she had said that it was 13 miles from the head gates into Augusta, but I really think it was only about six or seven. Of course, oh. we didn't go all the way to the Discovery no, Center. No, we, we just went to the cool old brick building that looked like Charlie's Chocolate Factory. Yeah, the old uh, gunpowder mill. Yeah. What it was, the old mill, that was... That was, was unexpected beautiful. and it was and I'm assuming that it's not in use anymore. Yeah. It's sad, sad in that aspect but a fun little ride and um, Savannah River is certainly a beautiful river. I know little to nothing about it. I'm going to have to do a little research about the Savannah River because uh, they're in a couple places pretty wide. Yeah. don't know how deep it gets. But, um, but the trail was like as wide as a, a vehicle. It was plenty wide and lots of we saw regular bikes hikers bikers bikers you're gonna see that in the video so hopefully i'm able to make something out of that that pedro's gonna enjoy <laughs> well that you're all gonna enjoy well if you like the video what do you do Ange? give us a thumbs up and if you haven't already please subscribe and follow angie jazz and i on our journey thanks for watching and we'll see you down the road Bye.